talking to uh, Yoshi Shimatsu this hour and Dana Durnford. Um, let me see if both gentlemen are there. Uh, are you there, Dana? I am. Thank you, Jeff. Hi. How are you doing this week? Good. Good. Looking forward to the show. All right. Very good. And Yoshi, are you there? Yeah. Uh, how are you doing there, Jeff and good. Dana? Good. We're all good. All right. We're not good because the madness continues. Terminal madness of the end times, as we discussed last hour. Uh, here are some headlines for you. TEPCO's nuclear commercials are drawing disgust in Japan. Uh, the Japanese are, are sick of this, as, as we've talked about. TEPCO also is trying to shift blame for the meltdowns. They're, it's it's the same old, same old. Here's another one. This is a kicker. Japan okays a 20-year extension. I mentioned this last hour for two 40-year-old reactors. They do the same thing here in the U.S. They continue to push the lifespan of these waiting disasters further and further down the road to catastrophe. It's just crazy. And then to round things off, uh, Fukushima rice is about to debut in Great Britain. They get to eat the uh, lovely produce with uh, glows in the dark, or probably should glow in the dark. It's, it's, it's really crazy, and this is just the, the radiation and Fukushima aspect of things. We, we can look at the political situation here, too. It's just as mad. It's all madness now. Yoshi? Oh, absolutely. And uh, this uh, Takahama reactors, uh, mock fuel reactors that they're yeah. trying to extend. Yeah. It's, it's had history of, you know, the same thing as San Onofre. You know, the pipes are no good that they leak uh, radioactive water into this uh, bay that's on sort of a bay there yeah. where people go swimming. Yeah, uh, great. Fishing and all really that. good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> makes no sense. And, and, and the whole region out there, we call it nuclear Ginza, Ginza the being a big shopping street. A lot of nuclear reactors along that coast, a lot of fault lines, a major Japanese naval base. So, so the reactor itself would be a prime target if, uh, you know, uh, any hostile country like North Korea wanted to fire a missile. Uh, Easy, very easy striking range. Very oh, easy yeah. striking yeah. range. So it's like a disaster, not waiting at disaster that's going to happen. It's already happened in the past with the broken pipes, very much like San Onofre. Uh, so it's a suicidal game. Um, if that goes down, there'll be another third of Japan lost. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the other reactors down in Kyushu. It's Sendai Kyushu. Those those have an accent. There's there's the entire all of Japan will be basically a waste zone, a nuclear test site essentially. So you know, over here we've got uh, uh, Indian Point. Which uh, yeah. are they going to close it down? Nope. Mm -hmm. They're going to set yeah, it back yeah, into operation. Fact, yeah. It's really mysterious why there's no uh, nobody in authority. Andrew Cuomo, you know, the governor, he, he's expressed concern, but no one seems to be able to move the nuclear establishment. They're like a holy cow. They're completely immune, a priesthood that is immune to law, to uh, election, you know, democracy, you know, uh, representative democracy. It's it's just immune to everything. And uh, what's going to bring down this monster? And and also this past week, a uh, Watts Bar, a uh, Unit 2, a second reactor there, which just opened up. This is down in Tennessee, uh -huh. the Tennessee Valley Authority, which is uh, Al Gore country. You know, yeah, Al Gore yeah. came out basically of the, nu the hydro industry, but also nuclear industry. Uh, so he's just the anti-coal, you know, coal is out of West Virginia. So uh, Watts Bar's second reactor, this thing uh, took 43 years to build at a cost of $5 billion. Okay, <laughs> I supply six uh, something like uh, uh, I don't know uh, six thousand homes or something. I, it's some ridiculously small amount. Of really, that's that that's provide. I didn't know. Wow, incredible boondoggles. Mm -hmm. Forty three years. It was. It could be. I think construction was halted for twenty five years because TVA did such a mess of their engineering work. It all had to be reviewed. A lot of it had to be torn out and done again. Okay. Uh -huh. So this is the inconvenient truth that Al Gore has been trying to peddle. I mean, if that gas-fired plant served a lot more people a lot more cheaply with a lot less risk, okay, as much as we don't like all these sources of fuel, and certainly no money has really been put into renewable energies of any sort down there. So no. 
You know, the, 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 the NRC has <laughs> evaded. This is the first plant in the United States since open, I mean, uh, reactors uh, that's been in, uh, unveiled since Fukushima in you know, the five years. So this is the first, and it shows, and that's why it's important people should realize, it shows this, the, uh, uh, you know, uh, damn the torpedoes full speed ahead mentality of the right. nuclear industry. Well, they and, said uh, that... You wake up, you got to fight, you got to fight this thing now, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. It, it. When they said that uh, Indian Point was safe to restart, this is a nuclear oh, regulatory yeah. commission here. Mm -hmm. the, the, that is complete. I mean, we run out of words to adequately describe this. Yeah. It's lunacy. It's not safe to restart, and it's yeah. almost as if the NRC has come to some conclusion that it's too late. Yeah. It's over. We're going to have more Fukushima, so why bother yeah. dealing with things intelligently? Yeah. Let's just keep them running and to hell with everybody. I I, I, well, I hope they don't think that way, but it's, it seems like that's an arguable position. Well, maybe there's a larger picture. This thing, you know, is bleeding radioactivity in the environment. Every day and uh, every way. Just much as Fukushima, and it's going right into the Hudson River. Hudson River flows down to New York City. Maybe this is just a gigantic way to basically take over all the property in New York I, City. I don't you know. know. Drive, I, have a meltdown. Drive yeah. drive everyone on New, New York City. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do right. a Fukushima-style, right. you know, a, right. uh, uh, what you call water hose kind of cleanup. Then go sell it to foreigners. You know, I mean, does it make any sense? No. That, uh, that's what they do, right? Of course sell not. Sell the whole darn New York it. City. Yeah. And then invite it, uh, international for sale signs after they do the Fukushima. It doesn't stuff. make sense logically, but to them it may well, it may well be a game plan. I don't have the answer. Why, why don't have the answer. would they go ahead and poison, you know, the, the biggest city in the United States? Yeah. One well, of the cities in that is, have they shut they do have they shut down Diablo Canyon, which has the potential to destroy yeah. all of Southern California? LA, LA. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay, right. that's right. gone. They have it. No, no. no so have it. Indian Point's going to reopen this summer. Uh, mm -hmm. It's leaking into the Hudson. Uh, mm -hmm. Hanford, which is a catastrophe, is yeah. leaking into the Columbia. Right. Uh, two of our most magnificent rivers uh, irradiated. Right. It, it just right gets down worse. To Portland. Uh, yeah. right that's down right. To Portland. Yeah, property for sale there, too, when they realize it's unlivable. Again, that Fukushima scrub, the appearances of a cleanup. Yeah, I think we should start worrying about this and start thinking about what is this government really about, you know? How pro yeah, how profit-making is this all about, you yeah? know? And how open to foreign foreign interests is it, you know, to sell off all the these are, these are to good foreign questions. interests, you know? Critical points. I, I think you know, I there has know. to be an explanation like this because it makes no technical sense. Only a jackass, you know, grade B right. minus, you know, F jackass would, you know, agree with this technology on technical terms. I, I mean, agree. so there's totally got to be an ulterior motive. <laughs> right. Dana, be an ulterior motive. Dana, tell us about uh, what are you seeing in British Columbia in terms of, of uh, a real estate backlash to this whole thing anything is anybody even talking about the safety of buying oceanfront or ocean near property up there does it does that even get discussed it doesn't down here not they keep that a big secret nobody talks about it probably the same up there no they don't hear nothing yeah well, there you well go. just in my small circle you hear people pains of conscience of what they're going to do with their property they don't know. Mm. They can't justify selling it to somebody else and giving you the misery without telling them. They're not going to sound kooky. But, mm. like, so there's, there's a personal problem. Uh, all the big animals are disappearing. Um, Tell me more. What's Who's disappearing? Yeah. All the big animals seem to be disappearing. Um, the moose? There's the also a, Alaska put out a study that the moose were migrating away uh, but they they're they're migrating that. into oblivion is what they're doing. Well, a moose eats grass, he eats the young shoots off the tree, he eats the lilies of the pond, and they're all still there. And so they claim there was a lack of food, uh, but also they, they have some connotations of a sixth extinction. And uh, I think it's emblematic of what's really going on here. But okay, so UK and Britain, let's look at it this way. UK... Uh, they're, EU, rather, they're going to import uh, the rice into all the EU countries. They're starting off with the UK. Uh -huh. And so that's genocide. 
that's out of, that's out of control. Now they've crossed all lines of rationality. Now, now they're going to feed it to you. And so now it's time to go to war. It's time for street battles. It's time to uh, deal with this thuggery that is the nuclear industry because it's not going to give it up. It's not going to, it doesn't understand rationale and it doesn't understand morals. And it's up to us now, right now. We have to fight for any future because uh, there's no other species out there that can do it. And most of them are, are died off by now anyway. I mean, they're gone into the Pacific Ocean. Now the mammals are disappearing. And we were talking this over here today and you know how the biota in the ground itself, the, the microscopic bacteria world, how I threw uh, chicken legs on the ground late fall last year, late summer and fall, and left it there the whole time, and, and it didn't uh, deteriorate. You're Wait a minute. You're kidding. Yeah, and so this. like even birds didn't steal it because they weren't there. And now there's some birds around. Don't get me wrong. There's some insects around. Don't get me wrong, folks. But what we're talking about is is uh, you know millions of creatures per square meter. Right. That most of us don't understand, right? So I know you do, of course, and Yoshi. But I, I like, I was reading all these stories today about the uh, UK getting rice and it, it, it infuriates me beyond any imagination. I agree. Yeah. I that's, couldn't that's, believe it. that's over the top. I'm not going to sit here and take it anymore from these people. Not that I have anyway, but I'm not going to be sitting and taking it anymore after I seen that. that what we have uh, here is a worldwide predisposition to genocide as being one of the foremost policies that governments seem to be installing now, that the whole invasion of Europe is genocidal, and now this rice debuting, Fukushima rice. What the hell's going on here? This is Why would they do that? Why? We, we That's know the, the radiation question. numbers up to half a million becks per square meter all the way into Tokyo. Thank you. Any, any rice grown north of Tokyo... Uh, has no right to be, or any food whatsoever has no Should, right to be Shouldn't be in the food system. No. Or, or utilized in any sense, for even for animals, no nothing. They should go to a nuclear waste like Germany does with five beckles a kilogram, goes to a nuclear waste. Uh, in North America, we're raising the limits for the last couple of years, and with, with pretending nothing is happening, well, there is something happening, and like I say, I'm not going to sit and take it anymore. I guess I'll be getting arrested again soon enough, but I'm not going to be putting up with this for uh, no minute, no How second. How could any, any normal... Day person of conscience. How can you do uh, that? Yeah. You can't. That's murder. Right? It's total that murder. murder. That's uh, murder. Th look, this is a, a group of Fukushima natives in London uh, who are over there fighting uh, so-called rumors about the safety of their crop. Come on. These aren't rumors. It's science. The They're crop is not cesium. fit. They're testing for cesium. They're not testing for americium or neptunium or plutonium Hundreds of or potential uranium or the thousands of radioactive yeah. isotopes that I'm, I'm definitely worried about. And they're not testing for any of it. And they're not even really testing for the cesium. That's a fact. They're not testing it. They're just writing down numbers. That's all they've ever done. They, they don't have any... Why would you test for one and not test for the rest? So they're not testing <laughs> for either. Yeah. It, it's it's that's how that works. I, I hate to laugh, but I don't know what else to do. I, it's like sick. I, I want to go. I want to go to war against these people. I want to go to battle against these no pieces, yeah. these idiots. You know, I put up. Uh, I spent last all weekend gathering up uh, fake reporters like Seth Dorn, Miles O'Brien, um, Rupert uh, Wingfield, Hayes, people like this seven of them, uh -huh. claiming they're inside a Unifor reactor. This is two and a half years ago, and I put all the strung all the clips together, and they got TEPCO two months ago at the Washington Press Club showing pictures of this beautiful building that they claim is a unit for at Fukushima. And I just can't take it anymore. I just can't sit They're still pushing that lie, that, that those rotten pictures? Constantly. Lies. They were at the Press Club in Washington two months ago. I know I sound like I'm aggressive tonight, folks. No, no. Take, you, I am. No. You sound totally <laughs> I am. Uh, on top of it. We got to go to battle. That's done it because there's only a all together. There's around two thousand people that are uh, perpetrating this upon us, and That's if we stand up to them, these are cowards. These are the yeah. worst of the worst, and it's that simple. These are cowards, and they have no yeah. science to back up what they're doing, and they got to be called to account. They don't. It's just unconscionable. We're 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 not in the streets now, going to battle against this monster that has taken over every aspect and facet of our lives, the nuclear industry. And when we're ready to die, we bring them to the hospital and bombard them with neutrons to finish them off because they got cancer. We don't even give our, because we're so brainwashed that right. that's the end. I just can't do it no more. Well, and all the insects are gone. All the creatures are gone on the coastline. The mammals are literally gone. We've been saying that for about a year and a half. Now we got proof of it where they say they migrated, but these animals don't migrate. 
These animals don't go anywhere. They just sit there and eat grass They're like cows. They're like goats. They just eat everything around them. Right. And so the very substance is gone. The animals sense that. How, you know how an animal will move out of an earthquake zone or move out of a volcano zone before it, mm -hmm. it goes off? We just see these mass migrations, and we don't try to explain it, but we know they, they have uh, extra perception. And it's the same thing with a forest fire or something like that, where they have this perception, this smell, long before we understand something is going on. And it's also that way when it comes to poison or lack of uh, substance in their food. They understand that it's a subconscious thing with them. And so they migrate. They might have very well migrated or they very well might have just died off and don't exist anymore, which is more my take of it. I would and agree because with you. They're, yeah, they're bioaccumulating everything off the ground right. and right the first new shoots that fill up with this stuff. We'll let Yoshi jump in, but... I'm telling you, it's time. It's time. It's time for everybody to go to, to take the battle to them, because um, they ain't gonna get. They ain't gonna put, pretend that. Uh, stop pretending. They, they're just getting more outlandish, and now they're importing it into our food. We're checking it. That's yeah. it. Well, we can trust them. Period. If they did check it. Well, they've uh, the, the Japanese over in uh, in the UK and in in the EU. And then the UK they also them. they don't just want to sell rice. Okay, they want to sell Fukushima cherries, apples, oh, pears, the whole great, thing. Great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then they're importing it in other countries, right? At the same time, trying yep. to import them. Yep. yep. And they're doing this because, like, say the EU. Well, if you're one one part of the EU, you all got to take it. So it, this is uh, out of control, and this is just a nuclear industry only. It's just this. There's not very many people doing this to us. It's a very important point. It's feet. always a hand, just a little handful. That, they're frightened uh, the dead of us. Right. The minute yeah. we raise our voices, yeah, they panic and they get you like they don't want me. They panic and got me arrested. Well, they arrest you, of course. Yeah. But they never had any substance, so they can't convict me. But they panicked in order to try to slow us down. That 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 worry that day doesn't matter anymore. If they kill me, it doesn't matter. We got to go to battle against these people. These are and we will win that battle in short order because we have so much truth on our side and so much conviction. But if we look at all the animal studies on radiation, knocks every one of their nonsense, bananas, potato chips, walking sunshine, Correct. fables out of, out of the park instantly. We can take these on any day that we can win. But uh, we don't get the opportunities. We need to go to battle. And whatever that may mean. That means blocking in the street. That means getting in their faces. That means shutting them down. That means litigating them in every sense of the word. And if we're family of these people, if they're nuclear scientists and radiation experts are your family members, you need to get in their faces. You need, you need to walk all over them. You need to control them. You need to dominate them, stop them from murdering you and everybody around you. And that, that is to, what we have to pervade out there. Otherwise, we are, <laughs> we are in some serious trouble, Jeff. When, like we haven't you guys have been doing that radio show now for five years on Fukushima but, uh, like I said I went and done the coastline we got all the documentations I covered 9,000 headlines where I went on the ocean we looked at the reactors 5,000 pictures of that this is not a joke folks this is not a game this is an event and that uh, we are being dominated we are being molded and manipulated and now we're going to be spoon fed with no input no idea right. like GMO was bad but this is this is uh well, I'll just t tie this in uh, with GMOs, which will happen eventually. It's it's so bad. Uh, I just, I honestly run out of words. I'm glad you're fired up. You're speaking very eloquently, uh, Yoshi. This this is this is time. We either we either take this this issue on head on, or, or we just retire and and wither away and, well, and well, die. Well, you know, it's true. We need to take it on. We got to be strategic. I mean, the the point is they don't put their cards on the table. The point is, we show the data, they don't respond. You know, they, they, there's a... No, there's we don't devious, exist. Yeah, no. there's a devious silence about right. it all. Sure. You know? and, uh, and the media is although, totally complicit. Totally. Although there are people, there are people in high places who seem to understand the Tokyo governor being forced to resign over his connections to the Yakuza, which is, of course, very much tied with the nuclear industry. Tokyo will be the uh, site of the next Olympics after the Brazilian one, the radioactive. But Brazil is the Zika. Hey, so Olympics. we got the Zika Olympics, then we'll have the uh, Cesium yeah, Olympics. So that is Great. The, that is the bio warfare. Zika is the bio warfare Olympics, yeah. and then Tokyo is the nuclear warfare Olympics. So it's time to reconsider all of this. I think the international elites are determined to go ahead, but we'll see how many really turn out to Brazil and how many make it to Tokyo because. You know, there was a this Fukushima diary, diary, a really strange website, you know, the guy, the engineer, he lives outside Japan, but... Uh, it is an odd site. His, his articles are somewhat garbled in English, but 
you know, if you look at his figures very closely and try to see what he's saying about the Ministry of Health figures, the home ministry figures, different ministries pumping out figures, and you start to calculate the death rate per year, per year, between 200, then for the census, okay, there's a census figure between yeah. 2005 and 2010. And you look at the death figures, which are very vague and uh, you know, elusive in some way, especially this last year's figures, since Fukushima, the four years, well, we haven't had the, 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 the 50 figures, of course, yet. We see, uh, if we if you sift through the numbers there that he's presenting, trying to present, he's having trouble making sense. He's an engineer, okay? Yeah, so I look at those figures against my past calculations. Death rates expanded by three times since Fukushima. 300%. Yeah. yeah. Okay? People are dying. I mean, it's not just animals dying, okay? Mm-hmm. It's not just fish dying, algae dying, birds dying. Humans are dying in droves, okay? And they, 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 they garble the figures, they play around with them, they delay them, they jiggle around with us, missing people are not reported and so on and so forth. People commit suicide are not reported so on. But we can't get around something like a 300% expansion death rate. And US, the U.S. figures are kind of dodgy too. You know, they used to report per annual, and I haven't seen a lot of U.S. death rates. I haven't figures. seen any and come across my desk, and I was going to ask Dana, yeah. how are we going to know? For immigration, do you get it? Yeah, oh, well. It's covering the death of all the Americans and Canadians who are dying because never of makes, Fukushima. Never makes the headlines. Do you, I, yeah, how are we going to figure because out? Not, you understand that's a driving force oh, it for could immigration? Be. Replace those numbers. Bring in two immigrants for every American dies of strange causes. The cancers are inexplicable. That's uh, interesting. You know, so, I had never thought yeah. of that. Think Very of it that interesting. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that, that solves the <clears throat> property market. The immigrants will have their huge savings from their extended families or their businesses abroad. Look normal. We'll see normal. The economy, <laughs> economic figures. Pretty are damn okay. devious. Wow. Yeah, that's a, but that's the, a it, the population is being hollowed out. The native population in Japan, the native population here, the native-born population. Yeah, there, and my, being my question, out. we got to take a break, but my question, mm-hmm. Dana, when we come back, how how are we actually going to be able to track the death count from Fukushima over here? That's a tough one. We'll talk about that when we come back in just a couple minutes. Yoshi Shimatsu and Dana Dernford, our Monday talk about radiation. And don't just think Fukushima, as horrific as that is, and as beyond bounds, we can't even adequately assay how bad that situation is. Any nuclear power plant, any nuclear power plant, what have we got, 99 reactors left in the U.S., I think, something like that. You live near a nuclear power plant, you better move. That's all I can tell you, upwind and as far upwind as you can. That's where I live. I moved specifically to this location because I was upwind of all the nuclear power plants. And then Fukushima five years ago. Everything changes. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, but at least minimize your risk by getting away from the nuclear power plants. So, Dana, how do we even begin to compute the death rate as it continues to rise? And it is rising. We're not being told. Well, this guy's cancer was caused by Fukushima radiation, or this woman got breast cancer because she was eating uh, irradiated seafood. We, we don't hear any of that. We're not going to hear it. So it's going to be very difficult for us to actually track these figures over here. I think it's a little easier in Japan, uh, but not here. It's very difficult. The, the, the study on uh, thyroid cancer, for instance, in Japan, uh, 2001, was uh, 0.8% of the kids had thyroid issues. 0.8, uh, okay. 0.8, yeah, so mm-hmm. less than 1%. Mm-hmm. And now it's uh, the last study that came, it was 12,600 out of 40,000 children had uh, oh thyroid, right? So that's 36%, oh. I guess. And yeah. so that was uh, big. That's incredible numbers compared to the, yeah. the test group. In 2001. 
And so tracking everything on this planet, who knows? Like you said, we see the die-offs of all the animals, the creatures, and stuff like that. We do have a very visual record of that, too. Uh, you know, like a half a million birds starved to death. Uh, this is the, the telltale sign of the sixth extinction was those birds in particular and the whales where they all starved to death. And the ones that, when they come ashore, there was nothing to eat, so they starved to death. When they went into the woods, there was no insects, so they starved to death. They went into the lakes far inland where 8,000 of them was found. Saltwater birds starved to death with nothing in their stomachs whatsoever. They couldn't even find anything in there. So it was it was just the accumulation of doing the whole coastline and seeing the extinction event and over the last year, see everything else play out and the big animals allegedly migrating, saying they starve, they're starving. We got 3,200 poles polar bears in, in Antarctica, they all start, they're emaciated the third year in a row, and they suspect they're going to lose them in a short war. We see in, the, in the Arctic. Bears. In the Arctic. Yeah, they're all 3,200 of them. Yeah. All 3,200 of them are emaciated. Wow. And we've seen those emaciated pictures. Oh, those from, pictures are horrible. Right? We've seen those emaciated pictures, that, and where one, uh, one set of the, one polar bear in particular, they had followed the 700 miles, and it couldn't find anything to eat and ended up starving. It had the deepest dive and the longest dive of a polar bear, but it emaciated. It went from almost a uh, thousand pounds down to 300 pounds or something. The whales went from 12 inches of blubber to four inches of blubber. And then the mass die offs of the sardines, the herrings, the anchovies, the, the krill, the, the very, most important parts of the food chain out there besides the base of the food chain is gone also, but the most visual for us. And that's just a gallows laugh for people who don't understand what that was all about. Right. Look, we, and, and so the nuclear industry has endless studies on, on animals, endless studies. And every one of them died throughout history. They've never, nothing lived and, and they weren't able to cure anything with radiation ever. A two percent of people with chemotherapy, no. and chemo starts off as chemo as chemicals, but but uh, second and third treatment, they start using radioactive isotopes, and then they also bombard it with the neutrons and everything else. And so it's a, it's more uh, man made radiation than it is the chemicals, even though they, they try to to pawn it off as just chemical treatment. It's not, and everybody died except for two or three percent, but they probably never even had uh, cancer in the first place. It's just this entire history, and now we're at a point yeah. where. The average cancer patient will die at four, less than four and a half years. If you make it to five years, they call you a cancer survivor. <laughs> yeah, they want to do a special test on you and stuff like that. Uh, so what's going on is they're shipping the food. They're making up law after law. And we got to go after them through corporate personhood. This is how they're protecting themselves. And we talked about it before, corporate personhood is in a figment of, it's where they took the slavery law, was meant to free slaves from an oppressive uh, government, and then corporations piggybacked on that in increments over decades and got corporate personhoods, which is certain aspects of human rights. But because of that, these corporations are unaccountable. So Google, Eric Schmidt can't go to jail, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg doesn't get a criminal record, right. and, and stuff like that. And so because of that, they only pay a fine, and the fine is paid from taxes, didn't pay anywhere else. So the same thing with the nuclear power plants, where most of these are on stock exchange, which means they're corporate personhood. And so the only way to hold uh, any of these accountable, that's the, one of the few options we got is to come after that one. It's an illegal amendment to the slavery line. It shouldn't be there, and it could be overturned. It could be challenged. Because corporations are not humans, they have charters. Right. Like you get a charter for your business, uh, but because you're not on the stock exchange. But when you go on the stock exchange, you're corporate person. You ha you have to go into that line of, of uh, legalese. Right. That's how we got to go after. But we got to go after this. Like you're saying right now, we got to go after these people when they're going to try to uh, do something at a power plant. We got to send a million people in there. We got to rally all day, every day for weeks before it, and get a million people to show up. We could shut them down stop us, with we, that. We got we to throw them yes. off the side of the road. Anybody gets in our way, throw them out of the way. So we, like, we got to organize and we got to go yeah. after these people and do it ourselves because it's not going to happen on, on its own and that they're, they're pushing for this. But nevertheless, you, you see, like they, they talk, like Yoshi, you were talking about 43 years to build a power plant. It ran for two days, but then it went crazy and done weird things. And no one really knows what's going on anymore. Right, and so that thing could be under control as far as we know because we it, it's they're not talking, are they? Right, and so why no, not? not both. Yeah, no. go ahead, Yoshi. Yeah, they're not boasting about what's really going on there, and like I say, this core this is really the basis for the whole climate change theory, the whole thing. It was just the nuclear industry that was going to save the world with clean, safe power, green power, and all this. 
<laughs> and, uh, you know, again, yeah. we, you know, the, the, the myth still holds. It has to be shattered. I agree with Dana. We should take a corporate approach and begin to focus on each of these, monitor each of these corporations and then find ways to go after them at stockholders meetings, you know, and, and, uh, raise hell there. And, uh, until, you know, they begin to flinch. They have to flinch and it's going to have to be done. I think people in Britain, uh, very crucial because Hitachi, Toshiba, Westinghouse, and GE are digging in. They're taking over the British energy industry. And it's already massively radioactive there on the British Isles. So along in the Baltic Sea, also massively radioactive. So, so you know, uh, people have got to wake up. they got to look at the real death rates. There's got to be legal action. Take. First, there's got to be the monitoring, the, the research and monitoring, and then the legal action. And then I think that will bring about people starting to put it together. You know, my auntie, my sister, my kids. How are they going to learn, I, though, Yoshi, unless they listen It's got to be very personal. Yeah, I agree with Dana there. you got to have this information available to people so they can make the connections and realize what's killing their family. And then they'll act. Well, know, we got to pound them on them. Twitter. we we got to pound them on Facebook. Yeah. we we got to pound exactly. them in your community. Yeah, we, Wherever they live, we got to get in there and we got to, we got to home. The ones that are talking about bananas and potato chips and walking in the sunshine, mm -hmm. like we got to put an end to that the minute they come out with a, a news story and, and they mention bananas or getting on airplanes Excellent. or anything like that. Whoever what that was, mm -hmm. this whole planet has to erupt and turn on them, that person, turn Excellent. on them. And then the next guy is yeah. going to be t scared to say it, and then the next yeah. one is going to be terrified to say it. The next one is going to be barbarized when they say it. And, but that's that's how you challenge them because their narrative is weak. Their nar narrative is so weak, so stupid, and so useless yeah. that if if we like together, everybody out there, that's what. I, and there's no centralized person really out there that any, anybody turns to. There's nobody really. There's no big. Like there's not a Tea Party movement where there's all this attention no. or something like that on just one organization or two organizations, no. and you know I got twenty thousand dollars worth of software there in order to try to to inform people. For instance, that's how busy I am at it, how dedicated I am at it. That that is the same ideas I run on all the time. That if I could build up some kind of a movement, then we can come out and challenge every one of these people. When you got the radiation expert, the radiation expert in UK. Uh, to, uh, Jerry Thomas, and you got the, the major one, which are Unsclear, which is United Nations, which is IRPA, which is all the big radiation protection boards. They're on all the same boards each. There's only like a hundred of these people. Mm -hmm. Whenever one of those hundred people open their mouth, we got to pummel them every day for a week yeah. until the next one opens their mouth, and then burn on them for the whole week till somebody else opens their mouth. And if someone else don't open their mouth, we stay on that other one for the next week too. And we don't give them anywhere to go, anywhere to breathe, anywhere to think. We call up that media, we call up that paper, we call up that radio station all day, every day, repeatedly. If you don't answer, we call back and we, we drive them insane. We make, we make them run and hide and you give them a couple of months at that game and it's game over for them. I mean, this is, and I, I'll take the lead. I got no problem with that. I don't care if they arrest me. I don't care if they beat me up. I don't care if they kill me, but I can guarantee you we better do something. We better do something real fast and we better stop sitting around. Right, time, time's up. It's time, time. Game's up. Time's up. This is real. That's been five years. It's been five years. Other nuclear plants have been bleeding radionuclear tides for longer than that. And and the idea of exporting rice from Fukushima to Britain when warehouses in Thailand and Vietnam are packed to the ceilings with cheaper rice. That's because even India is exporting rice. There's so much rice, okay? You can buy Fazmati huh. rice, the world's best rice. Mm -hmm. Cheap now. There's so much there's a bumper crop worldwide. Why, why would anyone in their right mind eat uh, risky rice from Fukushima? This is insanity, okay? It's pick your poison. I know a lot of Japanese food is poisonous like the Fuku fish, but this is really crazy, you know, what radiation does to you. I mean, you know, they, is like, you know, rice is, you know? rice is uh, grown in, in uh, kind of like a, a bog. It's water. Uh, yes. And we do know that the bottom of every lake, every river is mm -hmm. what? Radiation. And it's the same thing in the rice paddies. It goes down in the muck. It stays there. And the rice bring it up and it's harvested and it's in the rice. They won't, they, they lie. This is all lies. It's all predicated on lies. All There's a hundred radiation out experts. There. I planted right around the entire there. planet. Sorry, Yoshi. Go ahead, Dana. Radiation. There's a hundred radiation people. That's it. That's all we got to deal with. One hundred people. Yes. That's all we got to sort out. That's well, all we got to bring to account. Up, that's all we got to get in their faces. One hundred lousy people. And they've been around now, most of them, for about 30, 40 years. Yeah. And they're the same people. That's it. 
It's not a hard job. It's not a big job, but it's a job that should have been done a long time ago and that these people are hiding away because they understand that the minute that we focus in on them, they're, they're, they got nowhere to hide and all their families will turn on them when they find out what they've done. It, it'll happen naturally well, and it has to happen. Well, you it know, will happen. Of, you know, if, Go like ahead, Rupert Winfield Hayes, you know, uh, back in Japan, we used to call them with disdain at the Foreign Correspondents Club. We call them media geisha. You know, mm. they're just escort mm. service. The Foreign Ministry invites them over to dinner, you know, arranges the interviews for them. It's all very cozy. And we don't know, you know how they get to them otherwise. What's, cause usually at these dinners, there's a little thing passed under the table, right? You yeah. know? So he's just, he's just British. I think he's BBC, if I'm not mistaken. Horrible, horrible, uh, media geisha, you know, uh, something like, uh, I, but what did the Secret Service say? What did the Secret Service agent just say today about the Clinton White House was a brothel? You know, Mondale's daughter was doing something with the President Clinton there. Same thing goes on in Japan with the journalists there, you know. Huh. They set them up very well, feed them and wine them and dine them, give them whatever they want. Uh -huh. And then they just told the line, they do whatever... You know, TEPCO's got them, you know. They've got the evidence on them. They got the photos and everything. You know, they got everything in their diaries. So they can't wiggle out of it. So that's how they get these hundred people. They entrap them. And they're their property. They're slaves of the nuclear industry. Right. So this is how the system works. Yeah, we got to get a list of those hundred names and start, you know, fixing them out one at a time as we go after them. Yeah, we have to go after them, expose them for what they are. And, uh, you know, that's the beginning. That's the beginning. And, you know, the big environmental groups are supposed to do that. You know, they got staff of thousands. They haven't lifted a finger either. You know? So we have to add them to the list, too. So I agree with Dana here. We've right. got to go after these people in a more systemic way. You know, we've we've done the science. We've done the research. We've done the field work. There's Everything is absolutely, all the evidence is absolutely conclusive and mm -hmm. extermination events going on. Fukushima, you know, 90%, all the other nuclear stuff, another 10% of icing on that uh, cake of death. Uh, we have to now be a little bit more systematic after this uh, past five years and go after them. Yes, agreed, 100%. How are they hiding the uh, the animal issue? And big animals don't migrate. You're right. You're totally right. It's obvious. What are they saying? Are they say see? Here's here's where the nuclear industry has us kind of cornered. They own the media. They can go through the government and control the media. So if the masses are uninformed and they're not all listening to us, we are at a tremendous disadvantage. We can ha how are we going to motivate a million people? And that, that's all it would take. One million out of 325 in the U.S. If a million people marched on every plant, we could it shut a lot of them down. But how do you organize when you don't have access to the media? It's very difficult. It's a real well, challenge. Well, like you say, if, if I'm going to, I'm, I'm already starting it in many ways. I'm encouraging people to, to call these people cowards or to call them lawyers or to call them nuclear stupid idiot moron dummies. Mm -hmm. Anything, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. go tweet that to their account because they can't hide from that. And that, that makes, like, okay, look, if you were in a park and you were a baseball team, y'all got baseball bats and, and you watch this guy show up, dirty looking guy, ex-politician, old guy, you can tell right away. And he walks up to all the kids and he takes out a bowl of, of, of cereal and he feeds it to a kid and the kid drops dead and he walks over to another kid and he gives him a spoonful. He drops dead and he gives it to yeah. another kid and he yeah, walks yeah, in. Yeah. No one does nothing. But anyway, He's walking past these team of baseball players, these kids, and they all go out and they beat his legs to underneath them, the pieces or something, so the cops can catch them because they call them. But it's it's that simple where somebody just stepped up and done it. It's, you don't need a whole team to do it. But, I mean, the team would do it because they had baseball bats and they would feel empowered. I guess that's the wrong way. It's a violent way to look at it. But but it's violent when you think about it. That's what they're doing in the U.K. That's what they're doing in Britain. They're going to give you rice, and that's what they're doing to you. And you don't drop dead today, but you drop dead in 30 years or you liquidate your assets. First. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. And your children have nothing to live on after because all that wealth you had planned for them uh, is gone to is the gone. cancer machine, right? Gone into but, the medical association. Gone. Just a Twitter account. Uh, just, okay. For the benefit all, of all the law professors at uh, Victoria University, let me point out that uh, 
Uh, Dana is speaking metaphorically. Okay, let's be very clear about that, you idiots. You idiots. Yeah. And uh, if we have to hit you on a baseball hat to wake you up to what a metaphor is, uh, come knocking on our door and ask us to hit you on the head like a Zen enlightenment. We'll give you Zen enlightenment with a ba- baseball bat. Okay. I was being polite when I said baseball too. bats. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't holding it back anymore. I ain't going to be polite anymore. I ain't going to pretend yeah. that you're normal people yeah. like me or you don't deserve uh, special treatment right. anymore. I'm going to depend on thugs and murderers that we see and we've got to deal with them. And that's what we're going to be doing yeah, in the near future anyway because this planet is going to crack up. They're, they're far the worse than thugs and murderers. They're far worse, yeah. I mean, the thugs and murderers we're seeing on the news of late, I mean, we just wonder what they really were and who really were the murderers. I mean, we can't believe anything anymore. You know, they're playing too many games with the public, diverting attention away from the issues, trying to rig the elections. You know, it, it is time for people to say enough is enough. We've had They've been trying to ship the food in ever since the accident yeah. to everything out there. They've been yeah. fighting with every country out there because they won't take the food. Now they're bragging because yeah. somebody's going to have to take it. Correct. Right? But they've been yeah. trying to give it to everybody ever since. And so I got no mercy for these people whatsoever. I got no compunctions. Yeah. I got I got no ambitions about calling a murderer a murderer and being yeah. disgusted yeah. and outraged. Yeah. I, I just don't know any other way to react to it. Right? No. Yeah. There is it's no other logical way. It's anymore. an industry of murder. You're absolutely right. It's an industry of murder. It's openly done. Uh, they get away with it because they say, you know, we have the power and you don't. You know, literally. And uh, you have alternative power, but that's never going to go anywhere because we got nuclear power. I mean, this is brutes think. Uh, they got the bankers behind them. And as we know, bankers are expendable. You know, the 36 bankers that died in the last few years, right? Uh, three of them just recently. Bankers are expendable. They shouldn't be so smug. Their sponsors removed them. So, you know, for all bankers out there should realize you can be rubbed out. doesn't matter what your annual salary is and what your perks and benefits are. They'll rub you out, as the 36 have been done with the legal or scandal. We should also mention, uh, Yoshi, that there are a lot of alternative physicians that have been rubbed out lately, almost uh, 15, I think, at last count. They're killing leading holistic practitioners of medicine. Yeah. And then there were the... Let them get get away with... With, with, with shipping food to the U.K., where does it stop? It doesn't stop. Are right? you kidding? No, it yeah. goes all through the U.K. And this is food right from the, the, the highly contaminated food, and they're checking yeah. for cesium, allegedly, when they should be checking for everything, but cesium That's right. is a trace. You got it. it. It means everything is different. Maybe, right? you know, maybe, maybe people in Germany who fear for their lives and would like to have healthy food, maybe they should be voting for Brexit. You know, don't let the British reshift. Yeah. You watch, watch what happens. I'm... Yeah. Now the latest is the support they say is yeah. falling for Brexit because of the murder of Joe Cox. Now it's a tragic murder, of course, all murders are, but it was a political yeah. murder. It was done oh, and sure. designed. We know what's going on. This if, yeah, we if know. Brexit, I mean, there were two guns. If two Brexit, guns on their, uh, yeah, on site. there were two guns on site. And Thank her you. Her aide was yeah. right there. He didn't get shot. He didn't. He didn't jump in between. We got to wonder what kind of guy he was, right? And I say the the guy who's blamed for it, the fall guy, is obviously a fall guy, a gardener with mental Patsy's are a dime a dozen. It's so cheap. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. If if Brexit passes in the UK, uh, it'll pick up steam in other countries in the EU. It'll shatter the Rothschilds' whole plans for Europe. Uh, so they can't let it pass. It's, it's You watch, it's going to lose by one or two points. Yeah. It'll be a, it'll a, be vote, a vote fraud. The nuclear industry. Yeah, it'll oh, be sure. a setback to the nuclear sure. industry. Rothschilds are the nuclear industry. You want, so. you want to hear the story been... of the, of how that works? So Go ahead. Newfoundland, I'm from Newfoundland. Uh, this is a small province in Canada. Yeah. But we weren't always part of Canada. We were part of Britain before that. Right. And so we voted uh, in 1949. They had three on the ballot. We had stay with Canada, go join Canada, stay with Britain, or become independent. And so what we done was we raised uh, uh, independent... Uh, group and they won the vote by just a couple of points and the queen said no i'm not happy with that we're gonna have another vote now ah. the had no money left uh-huh. and a pig farmer who went to ottawa all the time joey smallwood had, all of a sudden got extra billions or millions of dollars and then we ended up joining canada but they didn't want us to they had to they're on the thing so we can leave but they wouldn't uh-huh. let us leave is all i'm trying to point i'm trying to make got and it. that's why well, that's what's that's gonna why happen I'm, I'm a canadian not yeah a, what do you think uh of brexit 
who, me? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, well, Bree, that means they can impose their will on you, open the borders up, and that uh, that's right. the tree is gone, and that you don't know who your leaders are, you don't that's know right. who your rulemakers right. are, and you don't know who the justice this is. This is, Brit- this is Britain's people. last chance. Yeah. This is Look, like at, our, at, our last chance is Trump. Boy, what was Bill and Berg? Bill and Berg was like, everybody knows about Britain got talent and America got talent. Well, this was, uh, the world got evil and they go there and they see if they don't know Bill Bill Vermont because they yeah. they can be pretty evil too. They just need some more training. That's all. That's, that's all. That's right. all it was. They were looking for more evil people. Right. And I mean, the world is made up of these little paradigms that uh, the people we put in the power ends up at the, at the Billenberg because they're actually evil. And then the mm-hmm. nuclear industry, the ones we put in the power there, the 100 radiation experts that are on all the same boards. They're on UNSCLEAR and IRPA and, uh, and United Nations. You're right. It's a, it's a little revolving door. The same, same people. 100 people. people are all on the same boards. It's they a real small move club. Them around. And they're all murderers, every one of them. And they got to be held accountable, every one of them. None of them are to the exception. Well, it, Dana, thank you for giving true. us a shot of energy there. That's much needed in this oppressive <laughs> summer on the summer solstice. Yeah. <laughs> in the longest day of the year when we're oppressed by the heat that's been magnified like by all hours the here. radioactivity <laughs> in the atmosphere, causing the biggest heat wave America's ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's a breath of fresh air you bring. All right. Hugs, my friends. Thank you. Everybody else who turned Thanks, Dana. Hugs. Be careful. All careful. right. Yoshi, thank you. Uh, okay, great. Talk to you next week. Yep. Okay, all right. very good. Be good. Okay, that's our Monday program for you. Thanks for being here. A lot of interesting and divergent information to think about. And we'll be back tomorrow night. Jay Widener, Gordon Duff, Jim Kerwin. So three hours of interesting conversation and perspective for you tomorrow night. Take care.